Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of Curious Expedition 2. My voice broke a little there, and the reason behind that, dear viewer, is oh, we're going shopping. We got so many tickets. We had such a good run in the last episode. 70 tickets, I think, don't hold me to it, but I think is the most we've ever had to come back and spend at once off one, well, definitely off one expedition, but wherever I've accumulated 70 over a number of expeditions. I don't know. I've done a lot of these episodes, you know. We're into, like, the hundreds. So, let's crack on, shall we? I mean, the first thing to do, I suppose, is to go and check out the Shady Dealer and see what sort of items they have. Nothing really of interest. I mean... Well, what we got here? Level five. Oh, level six. But we've got an advanced or improved, which is the same. So not very good, really. Never mind. Um, that's it. That's it. That's nice and simple. How about old Eddie Bot with his false moustache? What What have you got, friend? So level five, level seven. I. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, 15, 8 with a bonus of 10. 16, 9. Uh, how much are you worth? Just 13. And how much would you be to sell? 2. So technically 11 for a slight upgrade. I mean, it is, it is a slight upgrade. Level 5, level 7... So, 10 fame. 12 fame. Again, not too not too shabby. 13. Oh, we've got one to sell as well. Oh, I might do that. Fine, fine, fine. And we have an astounding level 4. You going to get anywhere close? Oh, actually you are. What have you got? 12 and 9... Oh, no, it was the same. Awesome. I mean, what about you? 19.7. 19.7. So we could go, for the sake of keeping it as high up as we can. 13.13. Just doubt of curiosity. Twelve fame for thirteen. It's going to cost more than that to upgrade, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we are going to get rid of you and you and you. I'm going to buy you and you. That leaves us with fifty-one. That is tolerable. I can. I can. I can handle that. That is. That is good. I just like the electrical bit. I mean, I'm... attack damage plus eight. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Right, so we need to pop that on you uh, and that on you I mean is everyone else okay have we got any red traits I need to know about I need to get rid of is everyone happy I mean I've got a few things but we won't worry about that I'm fine I'm fine so don't need to worry about going to you I, I have you got anything worth wrong one have you actually got anything worth buying just out of curiosity Uh, only if you like the rubbers. I mean, we do have Kimti, the Yeti. What's this? Summon critters. Chest pound. Massive rock throw, earthquake. Ah, okay. No, we'll leave it. Yes, uh, so we better upgrade. Right. So, 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 so. What about you? 
14 to upgrade you, 19 to upgrade you. Thirty-two to upgrade you, wowza. Twenty-three. Okay. Thirty-two, thirty-seven, thirty-two, twenty-three. Thirty-two. So, am I right in thinking I can only upgrade one thing? I mean, there's no point in upgrading that for two percent. At which point? I might as well go. The thing that's going to give me the most die. We don't have many blues, do we? Bigger challenge bonus. Well, it's not extra. Just extra side to the die, isn't it? All right. Jibber jabbering too much. We're going to do that. Gut instinct. Can't be bothered with those. Let's have a quick look in the old pub. We haven't been here for a while. We haven't been here for a while. I mean, we could take a mercenary on. A grizzled mercenary presented himself saying he had heard I was looking for extra hands. Yeah. Go on. We'll have a look. Any, anyone of interest? No. No. I mean, would I get rid of my cat bird? One cat bird, my, my um, thief at this point. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. Anyway, I digress. Uh, we go to the Highlands for the Monster of Legend. Mm hmm. The Loch Ness Monster of Legend. I was set to set sail the next morning and decided to enjoy a final night out. When I entered the bar, I saw two of my comrades standing together deep in conversation. As I got close enough to join the conversation, I learned that they were thinking about getting matching tattoos. After what seemed like endless discussion on the matter, they finally agreed on a symbol. Finishing one last drink, they headed out into the night to get their work done. Though tattoos are associated with the more disreputable sort, I couldn't help but admire their bond and sense of adventure. I trusted it would prove valuable in the days ahead. Oh, we've got a good mood. Nice. I'm all for, for good moods. My missus has recently had a tattoo. First tattoo ever. It's a little dinosaur on her wrist, which is quite, quite nice. She's a big fan of Jurassic Park. And her, well, let's just say her, her sister, who I'm not too impressed with the present, but uh, her sister paid for it. So she uh, she's had it and it's done and it's 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 on her wrist. So there we go. I pulled close to the island, meeting up with my supply vessel. Lux Labs had provided me with a modest budget to outfit my trek. Right, so usual stuff. Medical kits, torch. Oh, yeah. Um, protective hat. Sturdy boots. Am I bothered by sturdy boots? Spectacles are better. And then it's the usual, really, isn't it? I mean, what's this? What are you? Freshly brewed fragrant cup of coffee, shakes the sleepy bones and replenishes the mind. Why would I have a 10 for 10 when I've got chocolate here for 10? And there's more of it. Uh, we will take the lemonade. We'll take the granola bar. Three whiskey? Yeah, that's all I need. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I just don't feel like I'm... I think there should be more. I feel like I should have more. That's all right. We'll do it. Right. So let's crack on. Lux Lab had heard of a tale of, mon of a monstrous spider on this island, rumored to be the size of an elephant. 
I was to find to improve its existence, expanding the knowledge of science. I don't know why I shouted that. It just seemed applicable. Right, so we're pulling in. We're, we're pretty savvy to, to the way these islands work now. The uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, bring out old Juby. Cocoa leaves. Well done, Juby. Okay, so prove the existence of the monster. Uh, I mean, we could just get up high, I suppose. Just have a look around, see what's going on. Evaluate our surroundings. We're going to end up having a fight, aren't we? That seems more applicable. Oh, old camp. Before me lay the wreckage of another Trex campsite, I felt something watching me as I surveyed the area. We're going to be alright. Hey, okay. Uh-oh. A little bit of damage, but that's fine. Despite the sense of foreboding, I decided to search the camp thoroughly. After many hours of searching, I managed to uncover some hidden valuables. That's a fair whack of valuables. That is a fair whack of valuables. Alright, so. The artifact depicted a tribe made up of only women, with male conspicuously absent. Oh no. It's not good. Uh, let's mooch our way up here. That was asking for trouble. Glad that worked out fine. Let's kill him just in case. He's a big one. He is a big one. Oh. Well, let's take a picture, shall we? Execution. Click. Right, so. Let's make him super vulnerable. Exploit their vulnerability! And then we're just going to go in hard. How hard can we go? Hmm. We stunned them. Never would have thought that. I mean, being a you know a stone thing. Right. Oh, more fame. Click. Uh, we're going to heal everyone. We'll throw that on there. I'm hoping that will be enough to finish it off. Very much so. Nice. Oh, fairy stones. So it clears a little bit of space for us. It's a shrine, you know. Oh, we can go above it. No, we're gonna we're gonna come down. We're gonna come down. The terrain nearby was a dry wasteland, despite the lush landscape of the surrounding region. Inside was a small shadowy chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room ahead. I would have to be careful of traps here. All the greens, no problem. Swimming in, tre in trees, swimming in greens, swimming, swimming, swimming. After pressing a suspicious, after pressing a suspicious, after pressing a suspicious stone, a hidden mechanism raised a golden sarcophagus from a recess hidden beneath the floor. Oh, it's a mummy. Yeah, we got it. 
Right, so what you got? We had found a sacred altar room. Sigils drawn on the altar warned grave robbers, robbers to beware of a burning sun that would turn the world to desert. Cool. Awesome. Brilliant. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of the cocoa leaves. Nice. And uh, we better start looking at this. Um, I mean, I don't think I would have passed it yet because we've just started off, but you never know. It could be close. It's not close. Is it close? Not close at all. No. No. Right. So uh, it looks like we're going to be taking on this, this uh, lake serpent thingy. Uh, I just want to clear it, really, just to create a space. Oh, dear. In the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent damaged metal from becoming rusty. Billy Gill's parts had begun to disintegrate alarmingly. Oh, dear. I mean... Let's have a fight first. 350. You are immune to burning and stun. And weakness. Awesome. So. So, 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 so. Do I go invulnerable? I'm going to negate the vulnerable, um, the, what's it called? Fame for the time being. I'll take the hit. Click. Right, so. So for a big hit right at the end. 102. I'll take it. Why is people throwing stuff at me? Yeah, that's right. Punch him in the face. So we got to about halfway health on that, which isn't too shabby. Another red. Go. Cool. Well, we got vulnerable again. Let's do it. Don't think it's going to be enough, but it's going to be mighty close. Oh, boom. Oh, look at the giant scales. And more importantly, we have created a thoroughfare through to this next question mark, which is awesome. Hey, that worked out well. I was greeted by the local missionary who remained expressionless as we entered the mission grounds. Awesome. Right. So, to, to Paris. Uh, you can go. You can go. And uh, you can go. And then we shall rest. Uh, the priest howled Piper Faraday, glad to offer a fellow believer the security of his mission. The missionary decided to lift our spirits with a sermon. He talked about earning forgiveness by forgiving others. Oh, I was enveloped by a dangerous sandstorm. I was bodily picked up and spirited away. It was several days later when I finally got my bearings. What? Well, that's 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 just cheeky. That's just cheeky. We'll come back to you. Ah. Ah, Valentine. Oh, they're both rusty. I'll look, I'll go look, go look for that. Be careful. Be careful. Right, so, back to the mission. That was sucky. So, it should mean, though, this is empty now. Nice. So you can go, you can go, and you can go. Uh, we definitely need to rest now. 
The priest the priest scurried off and quickly returned with several bottles of whiskey that he was inclined to share with us. Yeah, why not? We need insanity. We accepted his offer and passed the whiskey around. It was a splendid vintage and we enjoyed the evening immensely. Uh, yeah, you can help. You can let us rest once more. The priest shook Paper Faraday's hand. The remainder of the evening was uneventful. We soon drifted off to sleep. That's good to note. We're going to rest a few more days. I mean, two weeks on the mission. Lovely holiday. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pray. Why not? We'll pray. Nice. Right, so. Can we trade? What do you have? Nothing of major interest. I mean... If I was to get rid of... So, if I gave you those two, and I took two of them, sounds like a good deal. And then we'll steal because that's that's who we are. Ah, uh, he's never let me down. Well, not recently. He's never let me down, Alfie. Good old Alfie. Alfie Gray's flashed a grin and revealed what he had taken. I had to admire his skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. Right. So, let's go. We shook hands and he prayed for us. Then it was time to go forth to new adventures. Right, so now we've got these new medikits. We need to heal, heal people. And then... Uh, what were you? Alchemist Hut. I've got no gold to melt down. So that's fine by me. Uh, oh, wow. Really, really sucks the life out of you. Let's get up high. We need to get off the sand. Trusty Highlands. Well, more like sand now. Sandlands, maybe. Oh, hello, Islanders. Our first meeting with the people of this land was an encounter with a pair of scouts. They reacted with great surprise at our strange appearance. It wasn't long before we were able to communicate and they had many questions. Firstly, they needed to know, who was I exactly? Pretend to be a legend. Why not? Always big yourself up. I managed to convince them that I, Piper Faraday, was a legendary name among my own people. Perhaps with such persuasive abilities as these, this small fib would soon be true. They were not yet finished. Her second question was simple. What did I want here in their territory? To explore! I told them I was here to discover new wonders of this unexplored territory. They seemed amused at hearing it described as unexplored and told me of a nearby location that I might take interest in. They had yet another question. This time they asked, where did I come from? From the spirit world? Let's do it again. Damn right. As I weaved my tail, a hush came over the islanders. They were clearly awed by my supposedly supernatural origin. There were other questions, largely inconsequential. I was relieved when it ended and pondered what to do next. I certainly had questions of my own. Um... I mean, we we're not even in the ability to give a gift right now, are we? So uh, we will ask about the village. It's on with the nearest settlement, giving detailed directions of for the route. I thank them and carefully updated my map. It was finally time to go. I bid the curious islanders farewell and continued on my journey. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, right, we need to get off this because we are not good. We are not good at all. 87, 80. So it's quicker to go down. We're going to get attacked by the Black Wolves. I know that for sure. Let's go to there. All right. Let's take these down first. Oh, hang on. It's been a while since we've done this. Old Billy wants a promotion or Valentine. There we go. So let's do the Black Wolves and then we'll stop at the waterfall. There's a fair few of them. 
Okie dokie. So, 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 so. We don't need to do it all. I think they're outright dead. It's just that back one we're gonna worry about. Nice. I mean we took quite a bit of damage there, which isn't good. Not ideal. But hey ho. All right, waterfall. Right, so um, it's just going to be a quick rest here, I think. I decided it would be a good idea to rest here. The air was fresh and cool as I lit the campfire. As we were laying out our bedrolls, I noticed that the green bushes framing our camp looked somehow familiar. Taking a closer look, I recognised the leaves. This was a cocoa plant. Knowing of their uplifting effects, I gathered what I could before we went to sleep that night. Ah, oh, look at me, I'm tired. Cool. Do we rest again? Let's rest again. There was something we needed to discuss, Alfred Graves said one night. Which did I like better, mangoes or red berries? Berries, because they don't rot as quickly. Uh, I like nothing more than a tart, fresh red berry. Graves smiled and handed me a double handful of berries. Wonderful. Oh, I got poor to poorly tell me off it. Ah, oh, bless him. smash him no we definitely need to go right so the berries gonna help with health so 178 out of 180 we're not far away from here it's gonna take a chunk of sanity office but we're just gonna have to live with it for the time being but other than that we're not doing too shabby I'm guessing that's where we need to go hey ho love it when it gets handed to me on the platter i like to think i'm wrong i don't think i am but I guess we'll find out in due course. Thank you for watching. As always, like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.